Amen, IPC family. I pray everybody's doing well today. Uh, Sunday, it was just absolutely an incredible day. So exciting to see all of our friends in service with us. And I know that coming up very soon, we got this Sunday, Palm Sunday. Then next Saturday, we're going to be at Bella Terra, worshiping the Lord outside in a public setting. And then, of course, April 9th, coming up, Easter Sunday with the crossroads. It's going to be absolutely so incredible. You want to be inviting people. And we're not just going to have friends come friend day, but we are going to be doing our part to going into our community every day, every chance, every opportunity we have, going into the community to bring change to somebody's life. Remember, ready, set, go. Ready, set, go. And so we are going and being very active and proactive in that effort and action to go into our community. So looking back on Sunday service, if you'll remember the message title was Closer Than Close. We pulled from Proverbs chapter 18 and verse 24, as the Bible tells us that he that shows himself friendly will have friends. And of course, there is a friend that sticks closer than a brother. And that friend, of course, is Jesus Christ. And so the whole point of that message on Sunday was to remind us that if we are going to have friends, we want friends that lift us up and build us up and edify us. A true friend is shown and demonstrated and they can celebrate with you and rejoice with you when you're blessed, when you're promoted, when you are well off. And they may not be the one being promoted or lifted up, but just by you being promoted and, and by God doing a great work in your life and showing you favor, they can rejoice with you. They can be happy for you. Those are true friends. True friends lift you up, don't pull you down. And we talked about friends. We talked about best friends. We talked about how my wife, Sister May, is my best friend. I love her so much. And we are always together. And she is stuck with me. I'm stuck with her. But I wouldn't want to be stuck with anybody else. She's absolutely incredible as she's my best friend. And even though she's close to me, I cannot read her mind. I don't have her mind. I don't have her thoughts. But when the Lord enters into our life, He becomes closer than close. He's a friend that sticks closer than a brother. Why? Because when He enters our life through the infilling of His Spirit, when the Holy Ghost comes upon us, the Bible tells us that God was going to send a comforter. Jesus was sending a comforter after Him in His name. That comforter came in the form of the Holy Spirit. And on the day of Pentecost, the Holy Spirit came into the lives of those in the upper room and they began to speak in other tongues as the sign and the evidence that the Holy Spirit filled them. We know that God is living inside of us when He fills us with His Spirit. So how do we get God closer than close? We allow Him into our life through the experience of the infilling of His Spirit. And then we can hear Him. Then we are at one with Him and we know His thoughts. We know His burden. We know His desires. He convicts us when we are doing things that He doesn't want us to. And it's that Spirit of God inside of us that leads us and guides us and directs us. And of course, if only we had God's spirit inside of us, it would be one-sided, but to be complete in Christ. It's not only as He fills us, but that we are put into Him, and we are put into Him through baptism, as we talked about. And when we're baptized into Jesus' name, we are put into Him, and we take His name upon us in baptism. And it's that full, complete connection that we share with Him. And so as we journey in life, and as we journey through the day, there is somebody who sticks closer than a brother, somebody that's closer than close, and that is Jesus Christ. When He enters into our life, He is closer than close. And so I want a closer than close relationship with Jesus. And so to have that, I'm going to have Him in my life on a daily basis. And I'm going to reach for Him and I'm going to experience Him every single day as He can be my closer than close friend. And if He's my closer than close friend, He can be your closer than close friend. And so today, let's honor that friendship and let's really establish Jesus Christ in our lives, in our community, in our relationships. And God's going to be with us no matter what. In Jesus' name, I love you. And God bless you. I'll see you soon in Jesus' name.